Welcome to the Humble Seer. So I started to, to do a reading on Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski. They have a show called Morning Joe. It's a take on coffee. Morning Joe. Excuse me, on MSNBC. And I, I pulled the cars and everything and the, com the camera just bloop, died on me. So I'm not going to pull cards again because I've already started, as you can see. So let's get into it. I'm going to do the traditional reading of how the overall relationship, which we see here, and um, the uh, how he views her and she views him. And before I, the first one video that I started, before I even pulled cards, I said that's an interesting household. Okay, but the overall relationship for these two is the five of wands. So there's challenges, obstacles, fights, disagreements, resistance, conflict. Um, I'm going to leave it there. That is their overall. It is not a happy household. I see grudges being held, um, manipulation. Just, you know, it, I mean, if your foundation is the five of wands, it, can anything good come out of that? No. All right, so how does he view her? Okay, well, he views her as the four of swords. So Joe Scarborough, I hope I said five of wands and this is four of swords because I tend to say the wrong card sometimes, but it doesn't matter. I don't need cards, okay? So if that ever happens, don't worry about it. But I digress somewhat. So now he views, so Joe Scarborough, views Mika Brzezinski as the four of swords. Fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overloaded, mental overload, needing solitude, overwhelmed. I mean, I'm not even going to expand on this because the descriptions are already telling us. And I'm going to put this high up because, I mean, really, I'm going to put it square with the it's going to be even with the five of wands because it's really just a continuation and then we have the ten of swords with which i saw i didn't pull but i saw it and i just instantly knew that you know just instinctively i knew that this is the four of the ten of swords relationship okay i'm hearing it's being held together by a thread now a thread is like the frailest thing i mean uh, an infant could break a thread and that's a good analogy for their marriage. Okay. Now, she views him <laughs> as the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is about pure intentions. But really, the Ace of Cups is about parties, food, and drink. Okay? Because, I mean, I don't see her... I, I'm not your traditional card reader, so he doesn't. She doesn't view him as with pure intentions, but she doesn't have pure intentions. Together, they don't have pure intentions. Together, they are the Ten of Swords, which is just—it's disaster. It's a hot mess. So the the Ten of Swords is about ruin. Emptiness, destruction, treachery, loneliness, imprisonment. And it also ends because, you know, I mean, the, the Ten of Swords is negative. I mean, look at the depiction. It's somebody laying on the ground. They're not, there are knives in every part of their body. There's knives that aren't in, they're everywhere. They're not even missing anything. They're just all over their body. And what I'm hearing about Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski as it relates to the Ten of Swords is two things. They give the Ten of Swords and they get the Ten of Swords. So I don't think there is anything really to say about this pairing. I, I can't even bring myself to honestly say couple because I, I mean, when I think of couple, I think warm and fuzzy and I don't get warm and fuzzy from them. I don't get loving and nurturing and happy and a coupling and spooning and, and I, no, I get disastrous. I get 10 of swords 
It's a ten of swords. So their, their relationship is the five of wands, challenges and all of that, but it, it really is the ten of swords. Just a hot mess. Just a mess. It's not even a hot mess. Because it, it, with a hot mess, you can almost sometimes feel sorry for a person. You know, because they're just, they don't even know understand that they're a hot mess. So it's almost comical. But for them, they are just, I'm hearing, conniving. And they do understand. They know what they do. But what they do continuously brings them ten of swords. And they don't even recognize it. They don't even recognize that the things that they do out into the world to the people that watch them and religiously watch them, they don't think that they're offering up the Ten of Swords. They don't view themselves in that way, but they're the Ten of Swords. They're, they're, they ruin things. So I'm going to leave it there. Very interesting read. Thank you so much for stopping by The Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this couple. Well, not really a couple, like I just got done saying. What do you think about these two people that found themselves in a sad, pathetic relationship? And relationship is a stretch. It's like, I keep hearing that. It's like couple, relationship. It's almost as if they're really not is what I'm hearing. It's, they're really not. Okay, so again, thank you for stopping by The Humble Seer. Consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below. And if you like and appreciate what I do, you can consider buying me a coffee, and that will be in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care, and we will talk again soon. <laughs> Bye.